that man great song. I can tell you the truth, but anything else, it's not my job. <laughs> Back in Ezekiel 33 and 8, when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, the wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. a good thing it's a blessing man you're given a great opportunity this is this is the grace this is the grace man to be able to do this how are, how are we using this grace period that's what it's about all right and if you're using this grace period to do righteous things then that's good man This is Hebrews 6 and 9. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation, though we thus speak. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Right. So the Lord is not going to forgive what you do for him. Alright, but it says to be diligent, you know, the same way. Amen. Speaking to myself first and foremost. Alright, the Lord can uh, fire you, man. Fire you from the job. That's why it says everybody show the same diligence to the full assurance, assurance of hope and salvation, man, and, and faith and the truth, right? That's what building your faith is about, is uh, doing acts of righteousness and building your confidence towards the Lord, man. Building your faith that you're going to be rewarded because you're doing the right thing. That's what you want to do. That's how you build your faith. That's how you build your confidence, right? Do the right thing. Out here preaching, you're keeping the commandments, all right, to the best of your ability. You're praying to the Lord, you believe in the Lord, all right, trust in the Lord. That all these things that you're doing is not in vain, all right, and that the Lord gave you the knowledge uh, for this very purpose.
judge in thy mouth saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true.
because everybody's going to hear this word. Everybody's going to hear this word and have that chance to either believe it or mock it. Stop it. You know, that's why 2 Peter 3 and 3 it tells you in the last days shall come scoffers walking after their own lust. Well, just look at that one scoffer, that, that, that black woman that uh, was scoffing the brothers out there in Atlanta. What happened to her at the end of the video? She got arrested, man. For scoffing. Where's judgment's gonna befall you people, man? This is 2 Peter 3 and 3. Knowing this verse that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept restored, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Yeah, which is why we're not worried about what anybody has to say. Alright, at the end of the day, we're doing our job. You know, all uh, the different scoffers, whatever, that's not going to stop us from preaching. Alright, we're going to continue to come out here and do this. Well, uh, Lord willing, through the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of God, alright, we're going to continue to come out here and do this no matter what anybody does or says. This truth is still going to continue to come out. Alright, even if you think we're stupid or crazy or what we're saying is nonsense, never going to happen, doesn't matter because we know it's true. We know it's true, man. So at the end of the day, we know that everybody that's against this truth is going to be burned with fire, man. Everybody that comes against this truth is going to be burned with fire. You know, anybody that uh, slanders or tries to kill or, you know, hates on the prophets are going to be, are going to catch fire. Simple as that. Second Peter 3 and 8, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with the Lord, as a thousand years, and a thousand years of one day, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us were, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of virgins ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right, and that's what it all boils down to right there. What manner of persons ought we to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Alright, that's why we come out here and do this work, bro. You know? That's why we do what we do. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein will the righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Yeah, blameless to you, how much you know, shut Alright? So the Lord knows our heart, alright? And the Lord is looking for those that are going to uh, repent, man. Turn back to you, how shot, man, and do his will. Alright? So with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Arukakudash. Double honor to the apostles. That was a great millstone.
all I want for the hopefully late, and Lord willing, this was edifying camp.